Now, one of the founding members of the electronic pop band Depeche Mode, Andrew Fletcher, has died at the age of 60. The band had a string of hits in the 1980s, including Just Can't Get Enough, Enjoy the Silence and Personal Jesus. In a statement on social media, the band said he had a true heart of gold and was always there when you needed support, a lively conversation, a good laugh or a cold pint. Let's have a listen to some of their music. Well, let's go now to Richard Blade, a presenter of Sirius XM's First Wave. He's in Los Angeles and knew Andrew for many years. Richard, very good to see you. I'm just so sorry it's under such circumstances. Tell us a bit more about Andrew and the role he played in the band. Andrew's role in the band was huge. Uh, people always think of Dave being the singer and frontman and Martin being the songwriter, but Andrew was the backbone of Depeche Mode. Martin Gore said to me one time that there would be no Depeche Mode without Andrew Fletcher. He was the one who would always get Dave and Martin and at the time Alan Wilder together and say, get in the studio, let's work on a new album, let's get a tour together. He said Depeche Mode would have fallen apart a long time ago. I got a text from Martin while I was waiting to come on the air here on my phone. And Martin, I texted Martin and said, I'm so sad, words fail me. And he texted me right back and said, I don't know if you can see this, but says, thank you, so unexpected and tragic. I have been a zombie all day. And a lot of people are saying, will Depeche Mode continue? I think they will in Andrew's spirit because Andy Fletcher was the glue that kept them together. And the last thing he would have ever wanted would be the person to have torn them apart. So I think in 2023, we'll see an album come out dedicated to Andy and hopefully following that, another tour. Depeche Mode had a huge fan base, probably bigger than they ever imagined, even in their wildest dreams. So much so that I gather you almost started a riot inadvertently on one occasion. Well, absolutely. Um, in March 20th of 1990, when Violator was coming out, they got together with me and uh, Howie Klein, who was a, a record company executive, and we sat in the uh, building at Warner Brothers and said, how can we make a statement? And we said, let's do an in-store. And Depeche Mode at that time in Southern California were as big, and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating here, as big as the Beatles in Southern California, ridiculously big. And we did this in-store at the warehouse at the Beverly Center. We were expecting five or 6,000 people to turn up, which would have been huge, bigger than Van Halen at Tower Records. 17,500, according to the LA police, turned up. They drove in from Colorado, they drove in from Arizona, from Oregon, from Washington State, and they lined up for two days and camped out. The in-store lasted for about, I would say 11 minutes before it was shut down by the police department. And they uh, issued what's called a tactical alert. They sent in three divisions of police, helicopter units, mounted police. But thank goodness, Depeche Mode fans aren't like heavy metal fans. There was no fighting. There was no battling with the police. They dispersed, but the repercussions were huge. And suddenly Depeche Mode's album Violator went straight to number one in the Billboard charts and went multi-platinum right behind me here. I have uh, one of their platinum albums that they sent me. They, this entire wall is Depeche Mode albums. And it was just the most incredible and sad thing because the band wanted to sign autographs for all of the band, uh, all of the fans. And instead they released a free album, Depeche Mode at the warehouse that was distributed through warehouse stores throughout America for the fans that stood in line and couldn't get to meet the guys. OK, we'll have to leave it there. Richard Blade remembering Andy Fletcher from Depeche Mode. We're sorry for your loss, but thank you very much for making the time for us. Thank you for talking about Depeche Mode and Andy Fletcher. Also sad news as well, one of the founding members of Depeche Mode, the keyboard player Andy Fletcher, has died at the age of 60. The group had major success in the 1980s. A string of hits included Just Can't Get Enough, and new life. In a statement, the band said they were shocked and filled with overwhelming sadness with the loss of their dear friend, family member, and bandmate. Take 
certain people back a certain amount of time, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. It yeah. really does. 1980s, big band of those days. Fabulous.